Airlines is a large airline company that operates flights to all major tourist destinations and has a huge IT environment to support their business. They use CA Spectrum infrastructure to monitor and manage various devices on the network. Their network environment has thousands of devices. These devices include routers, hubs, and switches. Their IT team uses CA Service Desk Manager, or SDM, as a tracking mechanism. This helps them to provide premium consumer service experience. But they always wanted an integrated solution of CA Spectrum with other service desk solutions along with CA SDM, which will allow them to create tickets and associate them to the CA Spectrum Alarm feature. With the CA Spectrum 10.2 release, they are happy to hear that CA Spectrum can now integrate with additional service desk solutions in addition to CA SDM. This is achieved by adopting an enhanced integration framework acting as an intermediary between CA Spectrum and the service desks that are part of the CA Spectrum install package. Now the IT team of Voonair Airlines can select and configure the service desk application that they want to integrate with CA Spectrum from the one-click administration page. The CA Spectrum 10.2 release allows you to integrate with BMC Remedy ITSM, CA Cloud Service Management, HP Service Manager, and ServiceNow, in addition to CA SDM. The new integration enables better communication between the Operations Center and the Service Desk, helping automate an efficient workflow process, reduce mean time to resolution, and lower overall management costs. This integration framework also supports policy-based automated alarm ticket submission and on-demand ticket submission from the CA Spectrum one-click. Wondering how it works? Let's view a quick demonstration that shows how Voonair Airlines are able to benefit from this integrated solution. Before we begin, we must establish the communication between CA Spectrum and a service desk through the one-click server. Open the CA Spectrum administration portal and browse to the service desk configuration page. Configure one click to connect to a service desk server by entering valid values for these fields. Select the required service desk type from the drop down menu. In this case, let's select Service Now. Fill in the respected values in these fields. In this case, we have already filled in the values. Click Test to verify the connection between the service desk server and one click. If the test is successful, a message is displayed stating that the connection is established. Now, click or add modify server to add these settings to the service desk server table. In this case, since we have already added it, you can observe the same in the service desk servers table. This table displays all service desk servers that have been configured for this integration. The asterisk indicates the connection that is currently in use. After adding the settings in the service desk server table, ensure you save them. Click Save to save these settings. A message is displayed indicating that the configuration is saved. Now you must enable the Service Desk Integration setting to allow CA Spectrum to communicate with the Service Desk Manager. Click the Enabled Radio button. After you select the Enabled Radio button, the Integrated Parameters fields are displayed. These fields are auto-populated and are responsible to establish the communication between CA Spectrum and Service Desk. It is not recommended to change these settings. However, you can enable and change polling details. When the service desk integration is enabled, the communication is unidirectional, that is, from the CA Spectrum to the service desk manager. But when polling is enabled, a bidirectional communication is established. This allows CA Spectrum to poll to service desk for notifications. Let's go ahead and enable polling. The polling interval is the time interval in seconds at which the CA Spectrum polls with the service desk server to retrieve the information. The status to check field is the ticket status to check from the service desk server. For example, if there are tickets that are in the service desk, then CA Spectrum polls back the information and clears the Spectrum alarm. For now, let's retain these fields unchanged and save the configuration. Click Save to save the configuration. Observe that the configuration has been saved. Now, let's create a service desk ticket from the CA Spectrum one-click console. 
navigate the console that already opened and minimize for you. As you can see, an alarm is already generated. Let's submit a service desk ticket for this alarm. Right click on the alarm. Click the Submit Service Desk Ticket option from the menu. This ticket is sent to service now. Observe the alarm is updated with the Service Desk Trouble Ticket ID. The ID provides a link that helps in navigating from the CA Spectrum alarm to the ticket in service now. Click the link to open the ticket in service now. Now, let's assign a troubleshooter for this ticket. Since the polling is enabled, Service Now sends the push notification to the CA Spectrum to update the ticket with the assignee in the one click console. Click the lookup icon to find an assignee. Let's select an assignee from the list. Click Update to reflect the changes. Now let's open the one click console. Observe that the alarm has been updated with the troubleshooter that we have assigned through Service Now. Now let's see forward polling. In this case, CA Spectrum will be sending information to the Service Desk server. As you can see, an alarm has already been generated for this demo. Let's submit a service desk ticket for this alarm and assign a troubleshooter from the one-click console. Right-click on the alarm. Click the Submit Service Desk Ticket option from the menu. The ticket is generated and sent to service now. The alarm is updated with the Service Desk Trouble Ticket ID. Click the link to open the ticket. Observe that there is no troubleshooter assigned to this ticket. Let's open the console and assign a troubleshooter to this ticket. When you get back and reload the form, you will see this field populated. Click the Assign Troubleshooter icon, select an assignee, and click OK. Now, return to service now and reload the form. Click the Reload Form option from the menu. Observe that the Assign To field is auto populated with the troubleshooter that we selected in the one click console. Now, let's clear this alarm. Once the alarm is cleared on the one click console, the ticket state will be updated as closed in service now. Go to the Topology tab to resolve the issue by changing the IP address. Click Set to update the IP address. We will update it for you. Observe that the component is up. Now let's navigate to the Alarms tab. In a moment, the alarm is cleared. Now that the alarm is cleared, Let's go back to service now to check the status. Reload the form. Observe that the ticket state is updated as closed. I'm sure you now understand the advantage and use of this integrating solution of CA Spectrum and Service Desk. To learn more about CA Spectrum, please visit the CA Spectrum website.